Hello everyone, welcome to Ashley and Lancelot Show. Today uh, is a review for Nino Cooney Prince Edition um, on the Switch. I actually played this, I believe, it was on the PS4 a while ago. I know, I think I did record a gameplay on the PS4. I do not remember. Uh, it's been a while. I played uh, Nino Cooney 2. I just played one not that long ago. And beat it and put the gameplay up in ANL Let's Play. Some of the Let's Play for Dino Kuni 2 is already up in ANL. Pathfinder gameplay is already done. Um, pretty soon on Thursday, I will be playing a lot of Diablo 2. I'll probably end up streaming a lot of Diablo 2. Just letting you know, uh, we are also going to be upcoming video be the Sonic Color Ultimate review. And also the Warrior Wear Get It Together review for the Switch. I know I do a lot of Switch game reviews uh, due to the fact that uh, it's a lot easier and it's a lot it's a lot easier for me to review due to the fact that it's on my table and I'll, it's not clunky to record videos off of it and do gameplay off of it compared to my other console. I only have like one of them uh, so far. But those are the videos that's upcoming for it. I am not gonna post videos every day, not for a while anymore. I'm just gonna be like every other day or once every three days. Uh, but I will be doing a lot of streaming uh, pretty soon by the end of the week due to the fact Diablo 2 Resurrection uh, Resurrected is coming out. And it's my childhood and I do love me to play some Diablo 2 and get my necromancer up there. Uh, matter of fact. Well, I, for the Switch version, I think it's the same graphic as the PS4. It is uh, by level five, and it is a style art style of Studio Gilby's. Uh, the story is basically, if I can remember the majority of the story of it, I know the one of the president of Japan, I believe, or that's going to the UN, got blown up and transported to the world. Uh, where Prince Evan is in. And from there, they're exploring to make a new kingdom, to make a peaceful kingdom to end all wars. I know in the end, the, uh, the, the, um, the UN representative or, or whatever his name, uh, Ronald, I believe his name was, that goes back to, uh, to his thing in the end. Um, but other than that, it is, a good game. It's not better than the first one. The first one's better because I like the combat system of collecting all the monsters and using them to fight just like Pokemon. Number two is basically you go around and hack and slash and cast spells uh, using how much mana orbs you have at the same time. It is still a simple, simplistic game. Uh, it, it has a very good story at the same time to go around to build your kingdoms and do quests and get people to join your new kingdom and build up to be a very uh, strong kingdom and unite all other kingdoms together. You have different areas of kingdoms that are like Vegas kind of style. Another one is like technologically advanced. Third one's more of a, like a seaside harbor area. Fourth is like the Ding Dong Dale, like the cat folk and the mouse folk cap. Basically, how do you say it? Up uh, been butting heads for a very long time, but other than that, it is a good game. It gives us a 7 out of uh, 10. Not any graphical change. All the DLCs are in there. There wasn't actually much DLC on the PS4 for it. But I'm trying to figure out like what other rewards, you know, what are DLCs that are, that are actually in this game that I missed. So I think the same DLCs from the PS4. This thing cost $60, but I bought it at Walmart for 50 bucks. Uh, every time you, you go and get a brand new game, just wait a couple days, they're like $10 cheaper than the actual base price for it. So this game is not worth 60 bucks. Just letting you guys know. This game is just a, just, it's just a port from a PS4. Uh, should be basically around 30 to $40. In my opinion, for me, $30 It's an old game. Nothing really graphically has changed. Just able to play on the Switch. Uh, that's the only thing I, I, I come and think think of it. Um, I don't think it's worth the price. Uh, I could just pick up a twenty dollar copy of it on the PS4. If you guys still have a PS4 or PS5, play that as well. 
I don't know if they released it on the Xbox, but if you guys want to play on the Switch, you can get $50 at Walmart. But I would say I'll wait a month or two. It will drop in price. Uh, Nino Kuni 1 and 2 uh, do drop in price, especially on the first one on the Switch. Uh, I think it's like, you can get that for like 20 bucks now on the Switch now for the first one. So I would just wait and uh, get it for like $20, $30. The story is okay, it's good, but it's not as good as the first one. I think the first one is the best out of the the, the two-part series. But other than that, that's pretty much all I have for it. That's not really much difference for it. Um, Battle Kingmakers, and I think it is such an old game. It's, it's, it is not like something not, something new happened in, in this. It's just a regular port going over, just like... Um, Zelda, uh, Zelda Skyward Sword HD. They added some stuff for it for like um, you playing a controller and having a Meeple to do whatever you want to do. But same thing for this. It's just another port that goes to Switch. If you guys really into the series, um, go for it. And I'll just wait for the price drop. But if you have the mind to spend and play New Kingdom 2 all over again, go for it. Uh, but I'll post the gameplays up in Ana Let's Play. Subscribe, like, and share. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day, guys. Bye.